Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice functional equations? Where we have x squared multiplied by f of x equals x open bracket f of x all squared. And what is f of x? So we can pause this video and give it a try. So let's get into it. When we consider the solution here. The question says x squared multiplied by f of x equals x multiplied by f of x all squared. Then, suppose we consider x here not equals 0. So, we consider this as step 1. If x is not equal to 0, then let's divide by, if we divide by x, we are going to have x squared divided by x, f of x equals x divided by x multiplied by f of x all squared. If x cancels x, and here x is 1, and x cancels here, we have x. Therefore, we have x multiplied by f of x equals f of x all raised to the power of 2. Then, if we subtract x, f of x from both sides, we are going to have f of x all raised to the power of 2 minus x, f of x equals 0. Then at this point, let's try and factor out. If I factor f of x from this, we are going to have f of x, open bracket, f of x minus x equals 0. So if this is what we have, then for each for each x not equals to 0 then we are going to have either f of x equals to 0 or we have f of x minus x equals 0 so if f of x equals to 0 and f of x minus x equals to 0 therefore we have our f of x also equals x. So these are the two things we got when x is not equals 0. Then let's consider this as case 1. We have gotten f of x that we want as 0 and uh, at x. But this does not define full analysis of f of x that we can just consider that we conclude that it is equal to 0 and it is equals x. We have to consider series of cases and series of number that will satisfy this. So let's get into the second step. When you consider the case 2, let's say we have x squared multiplied by f of x equals x multiplied by f of x all squared. Then by this one, if the case 2 is x equals 0, suppose x equals to 0, we are going to have this as 0 squared multiplied by f of 0 equals 0 multiplied by f of 0 all raised to the power of 2. And by what we have here, we can see that 0 will be equals 0. So if 0 equals to 0, this is also odd for any values of f of 0. So this is odd. This is odd for any values. For any values of f of 0. So when this odd for any values of f of 0, then f of 0 can be any real number. So it can be any real number like 12, 13, minus 1, and others. 
so that is for when x equals 0 and again if we have another case let me consider this the general form so in a general form to make it a general that it up is applicable to every form of these equations in this we consider the first one as when x is not equal to zero then these functions must satisfy when f of x equals zero and again we can see how f of x equals x so these are the general forms of this and for us to have a valid functions like a valid function for f of x equals to zero and f of x equals x since we are considering the general form for the first one if we have f of x equals zero so this is for all values of x and this is valid for when the x is not equals zero and again if you have our f of x equals x so for all x as well there is also valid for when x is not equals zero so this is the general form of this but what if we are trying to consider the continuous function so let me call this one step three the continuous the continuous functions so we are going to divide this based on piecewise function so to show the continuity of this so in a continuous functions we are going to divide let's say for f to be continuous for f to be continuous we are going to have f of x which divides based on piecewise as we are going to have x and uh, we are still going to have x so if this is equals to 0 then it shows that our x here is greater than 0 and if this f of x equals to 0 so we are going to see that our x here is less than 0 so let's say it's equals to constant values this shows that our x equals 0 so this is for a continuous function and for the first one which uh, x is greater than 0 so if you have f of 0 here so it shows that it is equals to 0 and the second one as well if you have f of 0 it shows that this also equals 0 so this is a continuous form of this thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye bye